today I will show you how I did the shells with the transfer images. I had posted this on my Instagram maybe like a month and a half ago, and since then it's gained quite a bit of traction. I had mentioned on the post that I might do a tutorial video. I've been collecting shells for a long time now, and I've been stuck on how to use them in some type of craft. Initially, I had wanted to make figurines out of shells, but I was having a really hard time gluing them together. My sister actually showed me that there's this special type of glue called shell glue. I'm not sure what differentiates that from regular glue, but maybe I'll try it someday. This transfer type is called decal water transfer. I actually found out about this technique through Martha Stewart. I just searched shell crafts and she had an article on ways to use shells. I put my own spin on it. The images that I've been transferring onto them are toys from my personal collection. I've been working on this series called Collection Project for years now. I've made 19 so far. I basically just photographed all the unboxed items in my toy and figurine collection and arranged them in a collage like format. I initially started making them with the hopes that I would stop accumulating so many items, which didn't end up being the case, but I've since pulled back because of spatial reasons and to save a little money. All of the shells that I'm using are ones I've personally collected, the lighter scallop shells I found in North Tro on Cape Cod. Since it has been getting some attention, I've been receiving emails asking me about this process, so I figure now's the time to make it. Generally, I feel like I've exhausted this technique, but in order to teach you something and for me to gain some more experience making videos in general, I decided to do this little tutorial. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. These are the shells I've collected over the past few weeks. I clean all of my shells by boiling them just to get rid of any sand and bacteria. Then I drain them after they've been in there for at least five minutes. I'll scrub each one of them clean just to remove any debris or algae that might be on the shells. It's very meditative. Then I'll lay them on a towel to dry. This is a moon snail shell I found at the Rockaways this past week. The key to being a collector I've found is to have a good organization system and to stay on top of it. Everything has a home. Next, I'll put together a sheet of images that I want to print. These are the two types of transfer paper I've been using. For this project, we'll use the clear. You don't have to worry about mirroring your image because when you transfer the image, it will face right side up. I'll print it using my inkjet printer. Now I'll seal the transfer sheet with acrylic spray. I have this matte acrylic left over from a previous project. I'll spray it three to five times over. Then I allow it time to dry. In the meantime, I'll pick out the shells that I want to use the images on. The smoother the shell, the easier the transfer. Now that the sheet is dry, it's time to cut them out. I thought about using my Cricut, but that would be a lot of work to set up the silhouette images, so I cut them out by hand. If you were doing multiples of the same size image, Cricut could be the way to go. I try to cut them out as close as possible to the image. For the clear transfer paper, it really doesn't matter, but I found using the white transfer paper that no matter how close you cut to the edge, it still leaves a thin white border around it, which is why I don't typically use it. You'll need a bowl of room temperature water, a squeegee of some sort, and some tweezers to transfer your images. 
You'll submerge your image in the water for about 15 to 30 seconds. You'll start to see the image separate from the backing paper. Carefully take out the image and place it onto the item you want to transfer it onto. Gently separate the backing paper away. I purchased these nail silicone tools to squeegee the excess water out. These are nice and precise so you can get into each of the creases of the shell. Basically, you just want to get all the water out from beneath the transferred image. Like I said, the smoother the shell, the easier the application. They require about three to four hours of dry time. The next day, I'll seal the shell with an acrylic top coat. I have this acrylic paint that I'll mix with mostly water, maybe like 85% water to 15% paint. This isn't in the instructions, but I think it's a good sealer to preserve it for the long run. I'll paint one to two coats and then allow them time to dry. The colors will pop once they are dry as well. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and until next time, bye!